Hi guys, so let's have a look at how to create fabulous mockups and done with PSD templates or template smart objects in Affinity Photo where they're called embedded objects and we're doing these on the PC. Now, how to mock up your designs. So you've created a knockout design. Now it's time to present it to your client. This is where mockups come in handy. A mock-up is a full rendering of your design on one or more of the client's products like labels, business cards, stationery and signage. A more complex mock-up might show the client's book on a bookshelf or in a reader's hands showing the world the product will inhabit. Now, what mock-up to use? An effective mock-up doesn't just make a design three-dimensional, it brings a design to life. When you're working on a mock-up, keep the following tips in mind. Show the product in action. Keep the mock-up focused. Stay away from stock photos. Don't use stock photos on your cover. You can be assured that if you're using it, a thousand other people are. Make yours different. Showcase multiple well-thought-out mock-up scenes featuring the design. Bad example. <laughs> A4 sheet in a frame. Or a good example, the same A4 frame but on a wall with some decoration beside it. Now, well made PSD mockups, the where and how to locate them bit. Now this person's at CoverVault, CoverVault.com, couldn't be easier to find. I have no association with this person, but they're very good mockups. One of the best sources around for good quality mockups. There are lots of sources available with a Google search, but you'll need one that's reliable and consistent. Now, as I say, I'm not, asso not associated with this site in any way. I just love the work and consider it worth sharing. So, how to use a smart object PSD in Affinity Photo on the PC. When you first come across this, you think, oh no, here's more Photoshop stuff that I can't use. Well, you can use it. That's the good news. PSD files open just fine in Affinity Photo. Of course, this can equally easily be done on the iPad, but on the PC, you also have full control. Or if you're a crafter or author, your marketing can move to the next level. Let's start with a nice book cover using a suitable mock-up. Now the one I've used here is on that website I just mentioned and it's a 5x8 gun crime mystery book mock-up. Easy as. Collect the images you will use. Now you're going to use your own images on this book cover mock-up. So you have to collect them first. Then download the stunning mock-up from the website and you're ready to go. Load the mock-up into Affinity Photo. Extract the zip file and check the preview file. There's usually a preview file with them, so you get an idea of what the finished product looks like. Next, load the PSD file into Affinity Photo. Just simply right-click on it and open in Affinity Photo. Carefully look through the layers without altering them, so you know what's there. And if you have a look at that one, you can see there's blood, smoke, and hair, bullets, book shadows, book colour, book shadows, a gun, brick highlights, and all sorts of interesting things there. With this mock-up, you can change the cover image and the background if you want to. It's easy. I'll only be changing part of the cover image. I'm not changing the rest of it because I think that's a pretty good mock-up. Now, changing the book cover. Make sure your cover design is done and ready and stored where you can easily access it. Now I've got some images there from 123RF and you can see I've got in grey highlight there a spy, dead woman, etc, etc, JPG. That's the image I'm going to use, so I know where it is. Select the layer with the image and you can see there I've got the image layer, the cover, embedded image it says next to it. I'm a little bit off the screen there, but that's all right, you can see it there. And you, when it comes up, you'll see what it is. Now double click on the image. Not the text, the word cover, but the little icon image there in the, in the layer panel. 
double click on that little icon image and it will load as a separate panel as part of your main workspace. Now you can see it there, that's it. And you can see at the top, the tab says Embedded, Modified, 19.8%. That's the size. Your display will now look like this. So only the actual image is showing with its layers. And you can see the other tab, your original um, mock-up is still there, but it's, it's not active. Your embedded image is active. We will again only change the image layer here with our pre-selected cover design. Select the top image layer in this case, and you can see it there. It's just the image. Now open Tools and select Place to place your own cover image. So you place it in there. Carefully check its size and position. You know how to do that by now, I'm sure. Now there you go. I've deselected with the image in the same position as the original. Simply unselect the original and leave it there for future reference if you like. You could now move your new image layer down to place it on top of the other layers. Remove or hide the unwanted image. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, satisfied? Select the tab of the original file and you can see that the original has now changed to your new image. Now you'll go back to the original image in a moment. For now, go back to the Embedded tab at the top there. Go to the Embedded tab and select File, Close. And that closes the embedded section. Your image file is now almost complete. Well, kind of. You've got the image on there. You can see it's quite clearly on the book and it looked quite nice, but there's a few things missing. Go back to your embedded document and add your cover text. Close the embedded document and come back to the original. Don't use the X at the top of the tab to close it. You must use File Close. It doesn't like you using the X for some reason. Now, the design is finished. Well, kind of. It needs a little more artistic flair to make it stand out. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Hmm, that's your part of the exercise. If you've downloaded the original PSD file, look again for the blood. Hmm, <clears throat> just like a real detective. Now, there we go. That's better. Now you can see, I've got the image the same, but the text is, hmm, different. And there's blood dripping down the top of the book. Yes, most of that's there. You just have to find it. Remember that if you want to edit the cover image at all, just go back to the image layer and double tap on it. It will open as a separate workspace. Then save it all again by tapping close. You don't have to, there's no save there, just click close and it will quite happily save it. Now if you look carefully, you'll see in layer 22 there, the one that I've got deselected, the original author has put the cover text on the image itself. You don't really need to do that as you've probably just noticed. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching this fun little exercise. Please remember to subscribe and go wandering around now looking for PSD files, especially some of the lovely um, ones that are on the website I mentioned to you just before. Okay, thanks for watching.